dear students we are proceeding to the second part of your grammar concept that is summarizing we have already seen the rules and regulations of us of summarizing what do you mean by summarizing and what are its rules and regulations let's now focus on the points that we should keep in mind while summarizing first of all you need to identify the main and sub points and note them down in the way you did in the previous section on note taking first of all you need to read the passage again and again if you don't understand once read it many times then note down the main points and sub points in that passage next write complete sentences and combine them in a coherent paragraph so see that your sentences are complete don't do half sentences and combine them combine these sentences you can combine them by using conjunctions linkers etc it should be coherent means there should be continuation from one paragraph to another do not add your own ideas or opinions okay you don't add your own idea and opinion you see that the main ideas in the paragraph in the original paragraph are followed try to give a suitable title to the summary that is prepared we have already done with few passages we have read the passages we have tried to summarize them now we are going to few more passages those are there in your course book see that your course book is open and you write down the answers while we go through these paragraphs read the following passage and complete the notes recognized as the largest desert in the world the sahara desert extends across north africa covering over 3 million square miles from the atlantic coast to the nile valley research scientists believe that the land became a desert for three reasons for centuries tribes have wandered from place to place in search of food water and grazing land for their herds of animals these nomadic people have already considered the number of animals they have as a sign of wealth the large herds have been allowed to roam freely and graze on desert plants and grass over time enormous sections of land have been left exposed causing soil erosion today The Sahara Desert is expanding southward as these wandering tribes continue to allow their animals to overgraze. In addition to allowing overgrazing, these people cut down whatever trees they find and use them for firewood. The sand is unable to hold on to the intense heat of the day, so nighttime temperatures often drop below freezing. Looking for warmth, the wild tribes stripped the desert of whatever hardy shrubs and stunted trees did grow the land grew barren and very little vegetable remained vegetation remained title is the expanding sahara first is the life of nomads you need to paraphrase it you need to summarize the reason for desert why that place has become a desert by overgrazing firewood soil erosion due to cutting off of trees main points of the paragraph and the sub points are these so when you are paraphrasing or summarizing this paragraph you need to keep in mind these points so the enormity of the sahara desert is the result of overgrazing that the nomadic tribes allowed their animals which they considered their wealth to do the present southward expansion of sahara has resulted from overgrazing cutting down of trees for firewood and stripping the desert of shrubs and stunted trees for warmth leading to soil erosion this can be the summarizing of the 
main original passage now you have to read the passage this passage and write its summary india is a land of festivals each state has its own festivals apart from the common festivals celebrated all over the country many of our festivals are harvest or spring festivals the basant panchami celebrates the advent of the spring season it is a joyous festival dedicated to saraswati the goddess of learning literature and arts this festival comes on the fifth day of the month of may according to the indian calendar According to the Vedas it is believed that the goddess purifies our hearts and gives us knowledge the goddess blesses us with the capacity to appreciate beauty and truth and inspires us to write poetry create art or anything of aesthetic sense aesthetic value Ancient people worshipped all elements of nature such as the sun moon rain wind rivers trees animals etc The composers of the Vedas lived on the banks of a river which came to be called Saraswati They worshipped the goddess who was the presiding deity of the river Even today on Basant Panchami day the goddess is worshiped with great devotion people worship the deity by offering flowers now we shall read the passage once again as we read the passage see that you write down the main points and the sub points in this paragraph so india is a land of festivals each state has its own festivals apart from the common festivals celebrated all over the country so main focus will be on festivals indian festivals many of our festivals are harvest or spring festivals so this can be another sub point the basant panchami celebrates the advent of the spring season it is a joyous festival dedicated to saraswati the goddess of learning literature and arts This festival comes on the 5th day of the month of May according to the Indian calendar. According to the Vedas it is believed that the goddess purifies our hearts and gives us knowledge. The goddess blesses us with the capacity to appreciate beauty and truth and inspires us to write poetry, create art or anything of aesthetic value. Ancient people worshipped all elements of nature such as the sun moon rain wind rivers trees animals etc the composers of the vedas lived on the banks of a river which came to be called saraswati they worshiped the goddess who was the presiding deity of the river even today on basant panchami day the goddess is worshiped with great devotion people worship the deity by offering flowers so the main title can be festivals of india among the festivals of india many are harvest or spring festivals and the basanti panchami which celebrates spring is one such festival one such festival goddess saraswati worshiped by the composers of the vedas by the composers of the vedas is worshiped on the basant panchami day which is the 5th day of may for knowledge and purity of heart so you can see such a long paragraph is compressed into such a short one so once again what do we mean by paraphrasing paraphrasing means you are compressing a long paragraph without losing its meaning and sense 
so see that after you finish a paragraph there is complete meaning it gives the complete meaning of the original paragraph so how do you summarize now first of all you need to identify the main and sub points and note them down in the way you did, did in the previous section on note taking see that you find out the main and the sub points in the paragraph then write complete sentences and combine them into a coherent paragraph okay see that your sentences are complete full sentence barebeku matte complete sentence ge meaning irbeku flow irbeku andarinda innodakke do not add your own ideas and opinions new barevaga nimma idea matte opinion annu new add maadbardu try to give a suitable title to the summary ella admele ನಿಮ್ಮ ಸಮ್ ಪ್ಯಾರಾಗ್ರಾಫಿಗೆ ಒಂದು ಟೈಟಲ್ ಸೂಟೇಬಲ್ ಸ ಟೈಟಲನ್ನು ಕೊಡಬೇಕು ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ವೆರಿ ಶಾರ್ಟ್ ಯೂನಿಟ್ ಇನ್ ದಿಸ್ ಕೋರ್ಸ್ ಬುಕ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ವೆರಿ ಈಸಿ ಒನ್ ಸೊ ಹೋಪ್ ಯು ಆರ್ ಅಂಡರ್ಸ್ಟುಡ್ ಹೌ ಟು ಪ್ಯಾರವೈಸ್ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಆಲ್ ಯು ನೀಡ್ ಟು ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಮಾಸ್ಟರಿ ಓವರ್ ಲ್ಯಾಂಗ್ವೇಜ್ ಇನ್ ಆರ್ಡರ್ ಟು ಸಮರೈಸ್ ದ ಪ್ಯಾರಾಗ್ರಾಫ್ ಅದರ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ವೆರಿ ಡಿಫಿಕಲ್ಟ್ ಟು ಸಮರೈಸ್ ಆರ್ ಎಲ್ಸ್ ವಿ ಮೇ ಲೂಸ್ ಸಮ್ ಐಡಿಯಾಸ್ ಆರ್ because of our grammar mistakes we may not give complete sense so please practice on these exercises those have been given in the workbook also if you go into google there are many exercises which you can use to paraphrase to summarize paragraphs so that you are used to it okay